many times would you put up with your ex-husband cheating on you before you threw in the towel? If the number is below 13, one ex-wife of an NFL player has you beat. Before Selling Sunset star Bray Tiesi had her son, Legendary, with Nick Cannon, she was married to former NFL quarterback Johnny Manziel. Their relationship began in 2016, the same year the former QB was released by the Cleveland Browns after two seasons due to his off-field behavior. The following year, the couple got engaged and tied the knot in March 2018 in a courthouse wedding. After their private ceremony, a source for the couple told People magazine, she's good for him and balances him, and he's crazy about her. Their marriage bliss was over by the following year after TSC accused Manzel of infidelity. In comments on Instagram, TSC wrote, You've been married, you've been betrayed, I don't do betrayal for a person I was devoted to, period. Vows were broken, f money, and f you and every other loser on here. The same month their divorce was finalized in November 2021, the reality star threw a divorce party with her girlfriends in Miami. She captioned a series of photos on Instagram, I do, I did, I'm officially done. Kendra Wilkinson, former girlfriend of Playboy founder Hugh Hefner, didn't have an easy nine-year marriage to former NFL player Hank Baskett. The couple dealt with cheating allegations, trust issues, and depression on both sides, which ultimately led to the demise of their marriage. The couple, who wed in 2009, faced a significant roadblock in their marriage when Baskett had an alleged affair with a transgender woman while Wilkinson was eight months pregnant with their second child in 2014. Although the couple decided to move on, they continued to share their marital woes on the reality series Kendra on Top. You're gonna believe this person over me, and I have believed in you and supported you and backed you through everything. Oh, you. They even appeared on season three of Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars to repair their marriage. But ultimately, Wilkinson filed for divorce in April 2018, citing irreconcilable differences. Their divorce was finalized in February 2019. Wilkinson and Basket appeared to be in a better place when she told us weekly in 2023, I'll forever love my ex-husband, you know. He's the greatest father to my kids, and that's all I really just ask for. That itself is so good, it's good enough, and if later down the line things happen, then they happen. I will always love him, and I loved him once. Love doesn't just go away. Portia Williams was labeled a trophy wife when viewers first met her on season five of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Me being a housewife and knowing that I need to keep my husband's attention, it is top priority to make sure I'm looking sexy for my man. Williams was in the beginning stages of her marriage to former NFL quarterback Cordell Stewart when viewers watched her throw lavish birthday parties and happily be a stay-at-home wife. However, according to Stewart, that all changed when Williams became too accustomed to the cameras and chose fame over her husband husband and family. In addition, their marriage reached a turning point when Stewart claimed Williams fueled rumors about his sexuality. For her part, Williams told Hollywood Life that it was Stewart's treatment of her that caused the pair to split. In 2021, Stewart opened up on the Tamron Hall show about his failed marriage to Williams and the gay rumors being brought up on RHOA. He said, That was true love at the time, but once you get on the show and things are starting to be insinuated, from the conversations about a beard to me being controlling, it becomes a whirlwind of things. Stewart filed for divorce from the reality star in 2013 after two years of marriage, and it wasn't drama-free. In a 2014 interview with Access Hollywood, Williams made allegations that her ex-husband was physically abusive, which Stewart denied. TMZ reported that Williams received no spousal support as a result of the divorce settlement. Before Gabrielle Union married former NBA player Dwayne Wade, she was the wife of retired NFL running back Chris Howard from 2001 to 2005. Their marriage ultimately didn't work out because both parties were unfaithful. In an interview with Dax Shepard on his Armchair Expert podcast in 2023, Union spoke about the infidelity during her marriage to Howard. In our first marriage, neither one of us felt like the marriage should get in the way of our dating. The actor stated that she felt she had every right to cheat on Howard because he was also stepping out on their relationship. I just felt entitled to it as well. I was paying all the bills. I was working my off and... I felt like that's what comes, the spoils of riches. Union recounted that she and Howard attended a therapy session during their marriage. Surprisingly, she said that the therapist told them she didn't know how they made it out of the dating phase. Tiki Barber is a well-respected athlete, having played with the New York Giants his entire 10-year NFL career. However, his life became embroiled in scandal in 2010 after he cheated on his wife of 11 years, Virginia Barber. 
The athlete's wife was eight months pregnant with twins when it was discovered that he was having an affair with a then 23-year-old Tracy Lynn Johnson, an intern he met while working on NBC's Today Show. He was not allowed in the delivery room when Virginia welcomed the couple's twin daughters, and his contract with the Today Show was not renewed. The former couple's divorce was finalized in July 2012. Less than a week later, Tiki married Johnson in a civil ceremony in New York City. In a May 2011 interview with Sports Illustrated, Tiki revealed that he had left what he called a bad marriage and fell in love with someone else. He said, You're walking down a path, and you know it's not right. Do whatever it takes to change. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's violent. Mine was violent, but somehow it seems right. Former NFL running back Arian Foster found himself in a sticky situation in January 2014 when a woman named Brittany Norwood declared that she was pregnant with his child. Foster had been married to model Romina Lombardo Foster since 2011, and the couple shared two children. Things only got nastier for Arian when TMZ reported that Norwood filed a lawsuit against him, claiming that he allegedly told her to get an abortion. Norwood also demanded child support from Arian in the suit. I've been through a lot, I have, you know, but I I am strong and I'm going to be a great mother." However, the two were able to settle child custody outside of the courts. That June, Norwood gave birth to a son named Gatsby Alexander Norwood Foster. Though Romina initially stayed by Arian's side throughout all the drama, she filed for divorce in April 2015. In an interview with TMZ, Arian declared that he and Romina remained amicable towards one another. He said, "...after four years of marriage, it has been nothing but a gift. I'm extremely grateful for the wife, mother, and person she was to myself and our children. I will continue to be here and support her wholeheartedly on her next journey, as I'm sure she'll do the same for me." Former New York Giants defensive end Michael Strahan endured a nasty divorce from his second wife, Jean Mugley, whom he wed in 1999. In a statement to the New York Post regarding the falling out, Strahan shared, "...it's unfortunate that some marriages don't always work out for both parties, but that's a painful reality of the times we live in." Strahan filed for divorce in March 2005, just a year after the couple welcomed twin daughters. Following the split, there were rumors that the athlete physically abused Mugley, which he denied. In addition, he was labeled a cheater after it was alleged that Mugley knew he was having an extramarital affair. He told The Post, "...I would never physically or psychologically harm any of my loved ones, especially my wife. That's simply not the man I am. I will continue to respect Jean's privacy and not contribute to a public spectacle of an extremely private matter." The divorce was finalized in July 2006, and Mugley walked away with $15.3 million and $18,000 a month in child support. Mugley explained to the same publication, "...I never asked for a penny more than the prenup that Michael and his lawyers wrote and made me sign." and all I ever asked for was that to be upheld." In 2020, Strahan accused his ex-wife of physical and emotional abuse toward their daughters during a custody battle. The case was dismissed, and the former couple agreed on joint custody. Former Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker Ryan Shazier was engaged to Michelle Rodriguez, not the actor, when he suffered a terrifying injury on the field. The athlete sustained a spinal contusion that left him paralyzed after a head-on tackle during a match against the Cincinnati Bengals in 2017. All you can do is hope and pray that Ryan Shazier is okay. Thankfully, Shazier was able to walk again after rehabilitation. In a 2018 Instagram post, Shazier jokingly called Rodriguez his true rider after sharing photos of his fiancée sitting on his lap while he had to use a wheelchair. The couple eventually tied the knot in 2019. In November 2023, Rodriguez exposed her husband as a cheater after she had allegedly found inappropriate text messages on his phone. She shared his private messages with another woman on her Instagram. In one text exchange, Shazier suggested the woman read books on different sexual acts. In a since-deleted post, Michelle wrote, "...infidelity at its finest. I can't sit here and keep hiding anymore. You can have it. I deserve better. This is Ryan. He's a liar and a cheater." In January 2024, Ryan filed for divorce from his wife, not vice versa. Tom Brady and his wife, Brazilian model Giselle Bündchen, filed for divorce in October 2022 after 13 years of marriage. To everyone's surprise, Page Six reported that the former power couple already had the details surrounding their divorce settlement worked out, as they had an ironclad prenup, which also gave them joint custody of their children. At first, it was heavily theorized that their decision to divorce came after Brady decided to unretire from the NFL and return for the 2022 season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The model allegedly disagreed with this decision, wanting Brady to spend more time with his children. In an interview with Elle in 2022, she stated, "...I have my children, and I would like him to be more present." 
But in an interview with Vanity Fair, Bunchen called the allegations that she wanted Brady to end his career very hurtful, adding, Listen, I have always cheered for him, and I would continue forever. If there's one person I want to be the happiest in the world, it's him, believe me. I want him to achieve and to conquer. In that same interview, she revealed the real reason why the two divorced. She said, Sometimes you grow together, sometimes you grow apart. As time goes by, we realize that we just wanted different things, and now we have a choice to make. There are red flags at the start of Jana Kramer and former NFL tight end Mike Cosson's relationship when the One Tree Hill actor accused him of cheating in 2014. Despite this, the two wed in 2015. The following year, Cosson's infidelities would cause the couple to split briefly, and the athlete entered rehab for sex addiction. They openly discussed Cosson's infidelities on their Wind Down podcast in 2019, which may have helped the pair heal their relationship for a time. Although they worked through their issues for the sake of their two children, Children, Cosson's continued infidelity was the last straw for Kramer. She filed for divorce in April 2021. In their divorce filing, Kramer cited inappropriate marital conduct, irreconcilable differences, and adultery as the cause of the split. During an interview on Red Table Talk, Kramer revealed the severity of his cheating. So over time, you found out he cheated with about 13 women? More. More. In an excerpt of Kramer's 2023 memoir, The Next Chapter, she detailed meeting up with Cosson to discuss finances and child custody. Describing the moment the football player demanded to get half of their financial belongings, she wrote, I choked. I actually was at a loss for words and spun around to him like he was the devil incarnate. Ultimately, she ended up paying Cosson a total of $592,400 in the settlement when their divorce was finalized in 2021. In season two of VH1's Basketball Wives, cast member Evelyn Lozada began a romance with then-NFL wide receiver Chad Johnson. The couple wed in July 2012, but it was all over by the following month after Johnson did something unthinkable. Johnson was arrested in August 2012 for misdemeanor domestic violence after he allegedly headbutted Lozada in their car after she accused him of infidelity. It all began when Evelyn says she found a receipt in Chad's car for condoms. It was literally like three weeks after my wedding. The incident left the reality star with a laceration on her forehead. After news of the arrest, the Miami Dolphins cut Johnson from the team. The former couple's divorce was finalized in September 2012. In a shocking revelation in 2020, Lozada released a video on social media where she alleged that Johnson had been physically abusive towards her throughout their relationship. Her accusations came after Johnson commented on X about the incident, I lost my temper for once in life for three seconds and it cost me a lifetime's worth of work. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.